Hello again, everybody. This is Derek at ScreamingGoldAirsoft.com, and I'm coming to you again with another know-it-all video. Today, we're going to do a know-it-all video on hop-up, what it is and how it affects your gun. Okay, we're not going to really, we're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of hop-up and how it um, works in your gun, but primarily, I'm going to, I'm going to um, talk about how it affects you and your shooting. Okay, uh, I've had some questions about this, and I felt it was time for a know-it-all video on hop-up. Okay, first of all, when you shoot your BBs out your gun, right, you get, you get a shot. Now, you got a target downrange. I'm just going to say uh, uh, a guy standing downrange, 100 feet, let's say, and you take a shot at him with your gun. Let's say your gun has a drop. You see the BBs flying, and then, boop, they hit the ground. Okay, well that is a symptom of having not enough hop, okay? And you see the BBs fly, and then a little ways after they've been out in the, bar out in the, out in the world, outside your barrel, then you see them jump up. Well, guess what? That is hop up. They are hopping because there's too much hop up. So now, if you adjust your hop up lever, wheel, we, uh, spinny thing, doohickey, Think of a bob? Okay, when you adjust your hop up one way or the other, it usually gives you more or less hop up. If you get just the right hop up, your BBs are going to fly out, and right as they're starting to lose velocity and they're getting ready to go to the ground, the Magnus effect takes over of the BB and it keeps it airborne. It's like lift. It will because the air travel, okay, with the BB spinning backwards, it increases the speed of the air over the top of the BB, which gives you a higher um, vacuum pocket over the top of the BB, causing the BB to lift up. And with just like an airplane wing, you've probably seen airplane wings. Airplane wings have a flat bottom, then they bulge up and have like a uh, a domed top or a, uh, uh, what do they call that? A, like an arch or whatever over the top. So when the wind hits it, the wind traveling under the wing is traveling at a constant speed. But the wind that hits this and has to travel the same amount of distance horizontally, but it has to go over the wing, which increases the velocity of the wind causes an upward lift on the wing, and that's how airplanes fly. Okay, so with a BB spinning backwards, it makes that wind over the top of it faster, giving it lift, causing that BB, instead of dropping right when gravity's taken over, that lift will keep it going. So what you effectively have is a BB flying, and it continues to fly. And that's where, that's perfect hop, when you get it going straight. Now, the reason why you need to adjust it, different weight BBs drop before other weight BBs. So you need to test it with the BBs that you use. You use some BBs, fire a few shots, adjust your hop up, start it, start it, no hop. That's the best place to stop, start, no hop. Take a couple of shots, <clears throat> nose dives into the dirt. Pull it back just slightly, fire a couple more shots, nose dives in the dirt. Try it again goes even even further than nosedives in the dirt until you get it so that it's just flying straight. Now if you continue to adjust your hop and you see the BB start to go pew, take off, then you know you put just a little bit too much hop. Back it off. Go back and until you find that perfect hop spot so that your balls go straight. It's going to double your range. You're going to think, oh my gun only shoots 100 feet. If you get your hop adjusted just right, you're going to get two, 300 feet out of it. Okay, what happens inside the gun? Okay, you have a gun, you have a barrel, and you have a hop-up system right there. Okay, the way most guns, I want to say probably all guns, the way they work is you have a magazine, it has a feed tube on the top, right? Okay, when you hook your magazine into the gun, what it does is it feeds the BBs directly into uh, the end of your barrel. Okay, 
it, it puts it like right here in the barrel and then the, your your air nozzle pushes the bb into the actual barrel and then the air pressure from the piston firing pushes the bb out the barrel everyone's everyone's got that already i think you pretty much got that down but before it travels through the barrel, it has to pass your hop-up, okay? The hop-up mechanism usually sits right above the barrel, okay? There is, a, there is a set of, you have your barrel, there's a set of gears above the barrel that when you move your slider or you twist your twisty dealy thingy, what it's doing is there is a hole in the top of your barrel, okay? Believe it or not, there's a hole. You put a rubber sleeve over your barrel, okay? Um, okay, you put the rubber sleeve, there's a rubber sleeve between, uh, a, over the end of your barrel. So when, you're, so when your ball flies through, it passes past that rubber sleeve. Now, your hop-up has a, a nub that pushes down through the hole in your barrel and pushes that rubber into your barrel. Okay, so that once it goes into your barrel, when that BB goes past it, it rubs against that rubber, and then and then it forces the air forces it past that rubber. But what happens is when it hits that rubber, the top side of your BB wants to stay, and the bottom side continues, and you get that spin. So by adjusting no hop, you have no rubber. It goes flies by without touching any rubber. And then when you adjust your hop, it pushes that rubber down into your barrel further and further, so it affects your BBs more and more. Okay, some symptoms of having too much hop is your BBs will jam. You'll, uh, your BBs won't be able to pass that nub and that, um, I can't think of the name of it, I want to say pushing, but that's not right. It's basically a rubber sleeve that goes over the end of your barrel. Um, when you, when it's pushed down, the BB can't pass it, you build up BBs, you have a jam. If you don't have, uh, so, or when it flies, it leaves the barrel and it takes off. That's a couple of symptoms of too much hop. Another symptom is no hop. You got no hop, flies out, boom, hits, hits the ground, excuse me. Um, those mechanisms are easy to change. You can take a hop-up out and put it back in. They sell hop-ups pre-made, uh, one-piece hop-ups. You just plug it in. You just take your old hop-up out, put a new one in. There's, uh, and, and certain hop-ups have uh, more or less of an adjustment. Okay. The hop-up gears inside the actual hop-up mechanism are... Uh, they're finite. They will only go to a certain point before it'll stop. Don't once you get to that point, don't like I need more hop and crank it because what you're doing is you're stripping your gears. Okay, just move your hop until you get it to where it needs to go, and then you're good. If it's still not far enough, you want to consider replacing your hop up. Uh, if you uh, back it off and you think you haven't gone all the way, but it ha it stops moving and you just go ah, I don't want any more hop. <laughs> I'm gonna you're gonna break it. Okay, the hop will start here and it'll only go to there and it'll go back to here and that's it. If you try to go anywhere further, you're going to strip the gear. So just go, just go within the normal gear structure. Okay, um, I created this little video to show you and you're going to be able to watch it. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of silly um, of no hop. This is what it looks like. Okay. I'll, I also created this other video that has too much hop. This is what would happen if you have too much hop. And this is what, okay, and this is what happens when your hop is just right. All right, now, what I'm doing now is I have a, um, I'm going to take my M4S, I've loaded it with .20s, uh, and I put it on, and I'm taking the hop off, I'm going to shoot it, and this is what happens. Alright, this is with my M4S system, 
uh, with no hop up at all. I'm shooting and you'll be able to see, this is about 100 feet, you're gonna see the BBs hit the ground before they get to the tree. I hope you can see this actually. Let me shoot from the other side, maybe it'll be better. See where they, see them, see them dropping at the base of the tree? Okay, now let me add a little bit of hop up to that. Now I'm going to shoot a little bit after I made a slight adjustment. Now I'm hit, now I'm hitting the stump. Okay, now let's put a little bit more hop up. and it should actually jump. See right at the end how the beads are raising up? That's what your hop up is doing. I'm shooting into the bushes of the tree now. See that? You want to find a happy medium where you have just enough hop where the rounds continue to fly straight. Let's see if I can shoot right at the base of the woods and the top of the stump. Still hopping up. You see it? Brought it down just a little bit. Oh, I shoot too Now they're flying straight. All right, well, I hope that helped out all you people that have asked me questions about what is hop and how it affects your shots. Um, hope that explained a little bit about how to adjust it and what it does for you. And be sure to check out my other know-it-all videos. You can go to the website, ScreamingLairsoft.com. Check out some other know-it-all videos, or you can go to my YouTube channel and you can check out videos there about gun reviews, games, sit reps about the store, and so forth. Please subscribe. We really appreciate you coming out and checking out this video. Remember, guys, whenever you're on the airsoft field, play safe.